Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, I've got a new licensed Grogu plush to share with you, so stay tuned. And hey, if you find that you like our videos and you want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I got a box here to open, and it's got a new licensed Grogu plush inside. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a review on the new big 20-inch Qtopia plush. If you missed that video, I'll put it right there for you. But when I was on eBay doing some research the other day on something else, I noticed that people had smaller ones up on eBay, and I was like, smaller ones exist? This is really cool. So, of course, I had to head to Google and see if I could find one of the smaller ones at a decent price, not at the eBay price. And, guys, I was able to find one. So, I'm going to unbox this little guy, see how he compares to his big brother, and, of course, I'll rate him on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, and I'll tell you where I found him and how much he costs. But, you ready, guys? You ready to see this cute, smaller Qtopia plush? Let's do it. Oh, he's so stinking cute. I love it. <laughs> look, guys. Oh, look at that face. How adorable is he? He is definitely just the same as his big brother, but just smaller and just as squishy. So for those worried about, you know, having the big guy and having room for him, there is a smaller option now. So these are these are this year's version of the Squishmallow, I'm beginning to think, because we've got the 20-inch one. This little guy is a 10-inch one, and there is a smaller one, guys, and I was able to find him, too, and he is on the way, so stay tuned for that video, definitely for sure. But this is an officially licensed product. It is Qtopia, which is actually something by Mattel. So these are put out by Mattel, kind of also like the big one at Target that has the frog. And they just had a sale on that one, guys, and I hope they have a sale on them again before Christmas, because I do still really want to get one and cut that frog off. I, I know, I'm obsessed with that frog on that plush, because it's so squishy and soft, and it's just like the perfect size. But... Back to these guys here, let me grab his big brother so you can see how they compare size-wise. So guys, here's the big guy. This is the 20 inch. This is the 10 inch. So you can see, yes, it is just like the Squishmallows where the 20 inch is about four times as big as the 10 inch one. Super duper adorable though. Both same fabric, just as squishy inside. This one might be a little bit more squishier, but it might just be because he's a bigger guy. But as I'm sitting here looking at them, their faces are a little bit different. So let me bring them up closer so you can see that. Now this is the large one, the 20 inch. You can see on his embroidered eyes that he has the two white spots. And he's got the little embroidered nose that you can't see unless you get real up close to him. And he's got the little smile there that is all embroidered on his face. And then, let me put you down for a second, buddy. Oops, sorry, Fisher. You good there? <laughs> on the face of this guy, his eyes, he only has one white spot in each of his eyes. He does not have a cute embroidered nose, and his smile is a different color, and maybe not a different shape, but maybe a little bit different. Where's your smile, dude? Yeah. But other than that, they are the same all the way around. On the back of them, it does go all the way around. It's not like just, you know, that plain green on the back, like that bed rest pillow that I got. Yeah. So he does have his robe and Sherpa all the way around. He's got cute little hands. The ones on the big one are a little bit floppier and move around a little bit better. These are kind of more like just little hand nubbies. No fingernails on either one of those. And of course, he's got fadies. Yep, he has the fadies. 
And this guy has the feeties too. Again, the feeties on this one, yeah, they're a little floppier than the arms, but the feet on the big one, they just flop all over the place, but are super cute. And we love the feeties so, so much, but no toenails. That's okay. Now, as I said, I had to do some research in order to find the little 10 inch guy, and it actually wasn't too bad. On eBay, these guys are selling for like $30, $40 whereas the big ones are like 70, 80 and up from that. These are $20 at Costco. You don't have to be a Costco member to buy one. So if they are still available on the Costco website, I will put that link to him down in the description of the video. This guy, he, like I said, is about 30 to $40 on eBay. They have them on Amazon and it is shipped and sold by Amazon. Yay! And he is $14.99. So, like 20 ish, 25 ish for him. $14.99 for this guy. Free shipping with Prime. Always gotta love that. And I hadn't realized when I did my Bring Home the Bounty video the other day, somehow I missed it on the website, but these guys were announced that day, even though I had ordered mine before that actually came out. But it's not only Grogu, guys. They have other Star Wars characters, and check it out. They've got a Boba Fett. They've got an Ewok. And they've got R2-D2. But out of all those, you know, I love Ewoks, but that Boba Fett guys, he is really super cute, and I'm this close to getting one. I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to talk myself out of it. I'm like, I don't need another plush, but maybe I do. Yeah, that would be, yeah, that might work. <laughs> Now, these guys are super light and super squishy, but I know weighted plushes are kind of a big thing right now. You could actually turn this guy into a weighted plush very, very easily. All you would have to do to do that is open up one of his seams on the back here, fill a stocking or sock up with some beans or even some rice, stick it inside so you get the weight that you want, and then just sew it right back up. I know, I'm not a sewer, but for simple things like that, I will sew. And yeah, you would have a little weighted Grogu that you could carry around places with you. And he's like the perfect size for that. Yeah, so that's an idea if you want to add some weight to him. And of course, I cannot forget to rate him on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. He's definitely a totally rad for me, guys. He's so cute. He's like a little pillow. I could go to sleep on you. I could actually have a whole Grogu bed. Little mattress. Little pillow. Ha! <laughs> How fun would that be? But if I get the third one, which I am, it's on its way, I could actually make a Grogu snowman, too. <laughs> So, what do you guys think of the Qtopia plush? I actually like these a lot better than the Squishmallows. They feel the same, and they're just as squishy, but I think these are a lot cuter, and it's probably has everything to do with the little floppy feeties. <laughs> but yeah, these guys are a little bit more Grogu-ish than the Squishmallows were. I think the faces are cuter. It's just my opinion, guys. But let me know. Do you like these guys better or the Squishmallows better? Let me know in the comments below. And yes, we are still waiting on that small one. And that video is probably going to be tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say. Right, little Qtopia cutie cutie pie? We'll see you later.